The TIA selection tool allows you to select, configure, and prepare devices for totally integrated automation for the order. The same applies for the Somatic ET200SP open controller. Various wizards and configurations assist in the component selection, offer useful accessories, and check your finished configuration for possible errors. The completed product selection can then be forwarded to a complete order list, which can then be exported in formats like PDF or CSV, or which can be directly processed further in the shopping basket of the industry mall. Let us now look at the most important steps in the selection of the open controller. We create a new device in the TIA selection tool and navigate to the relevant hardware configuration dialog via the product tree as follows, controller, distributed controller, based on Simatic ET200SP. Here we click configuration once more and can then see our product catalog on the right. The option Open Controller is available and we can select from the list of available Open Controller versions. These configurations will already include the CFAST card and all required SIMATIC licenses. You can choose between two operating systems, a configuration with or without HMI runtime, various sizes of RAM and CFAST cards, or varying number of power techs. The available operating systems are Windows Embedded Standard 7 Enterprise in the 32-bit version or Professional in the 64-bit version. The choice of operating system only impacts the processing speed of Windows applications and the functional scope. The Professional version therefore offers multiple user interface languages and you have the option of operating a multi-touch panel. The controller apps, on the other hand, are completely OS independent. For our basic application in this Getting Started series, we will now choose the greatest available expansion option. For example, the CPU 1515 SPPC with HMI runtime and 2048 power ticks. Let's select it by double-clicking it, and the next dialog window opens for selecting the removable bus adapter which will allow you to connect your device to Profinet I.O. The bus adapter is available in several versions, and you will have to choose the one to best suit your requirements. Here you can see a preview of the available versions. There is the standard bus adapter with two RJ45 connections, or you can choose a direct connection to Fast Connect which you can see here as well. We will stick with the standard adapter and select it by clicking OK. Our basic hardware configuration is now complete, and we can see the open controller as our basic unit with the removable adapter we have just selected. We can now generate our order list. In the order list, we can now review our selected components. The function bar below offers an export option for the order list. Available formats are PDF, CSV, or a format for use in a CAX application. Alternatively, you can now transfer your order list into the industry mall shopping basket to complete your order.